Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. I say we're going to clarify parking, but then I discovered we got a happy parking <laughs> meter. Please explain this to me. Jessica uh, Kleiner from uh, Downtown Norfolk Council and Bart New, Director of Parking for the City of Norfolk. How are you doing? Good. Good. You? you guys are partners. Yes. So, okay, explain parking to me. I pull into a space. There's a meter there. What do I do? Well, it depends on, on the day of the week right now. If it's, if it's a regular weekday between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., you pay the meter like you would any other time. Okay. There's a two-hour limit, so you're, all, you're limited to two hours of parking. And then after that two hours, you need to move on. Let's, let's repeat that. So when you park, if you're going to be coming downtown and you're going to be staying for the entire day, mm -hmm. we've got, what, 20,000 spots You're better to garages. park in a parking garage. It's going to be cheaper, first of all, because parking on street is expensive. It'll add up quickly. The, the purpose behind limiting the time on the meters on street is to keep cars moving and to keep spaces open for people who need to park short term. Gotcha. It's kind of the move in and exactly. move right. out. It's the retail. It's exactly. to go shopping, to go out to dinner, to do those kinds of things that you, you don't need more than, you know, two hours necessarily. So. Okay. So Monday through Friday, pay, but in the eve? Evenings after 6, you can park for as long as you want and not have to pay until 9 a.m. the following morning. Gotcha. Okay. And then our new initiative is Saturday parking. Saturday used to be the same as, as a weekday. You'd have to park after 9 a.m. or Sorry, pay after 9 a.m. Right. until 6 p.m. But our new initiative is um, you don't have to pay on Saturdays now, but you're still, uh, we still enforce that two-hour limit. So the idea is, you, you know, you can come downtown, not have to pay to park on the street. Um, but, you know, we're creating that two-hour time to keep cars moving and to keep the spaces open for people. No, because I'll, I'll, I'll be up front with you. After church on Sunday, we come downtown. I won't, we have a super number of restaurants to eat at after church. And one of the reasons we do it on Sunday is because I could just kind of pull up and find a space right. and walk two blocks because right. it's part of my... So now I can do that on Saturday. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Sundays won't change. Sunday it will remain free, and there is no time limit on Sundays. So Sundays is really easy day. Okay. Um, but Saturdays is the time limit still. Okay. Now, how do you know my car has been there for two hours? We have our ways. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See, because my next question is I'm going to ask her, how do you light all those buildings for the holiday parade? But we won't go there. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. So. There are, mo there are meter monitors. We have, we have people who do parking enforcement. Um, you know, they're not bad people, I promise. They're, they're really out there just to keep, make sure people are paying, paying, or playing by the rules. Um, but we do, we do what's called chalking the tires. We actually chalk a tire and time it. And, uh, and we also have what's called electronic chalking. So the enforcement handheld units they use, they can keep track of time, okay. too. So we have ways of doing it. And, and it's not because you guys are, you know. You're not the Christmas elf. We're not elf, bad but on people. The other We're hand, not mean people. No, but the, but there's a, it is a limited resource that needs to be shared. So it's a way of managing. Resource is a good way of putting it. It's a resource. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys partners then? Well, we're partnering because um, we work together. Meaning to get, downtown yeah, Norfolk Council. Yeah, downtown Norfolk Council. So to get the initiative kind of moving forward, and then we're working together on the promotion of it. So that's when you start seeing these happy parking meters, and you'll see them in advertising to just know that, remind people and brand that downtown Norfolk parking is plentiful, it's easy, and accessible. There's, you know, 19,000 spaces, there's garages, there's metered spots, there's parking in the arts districts free all the time for two hours. Um, and we just want to work to get the word out to people to let them know, hey, um, you can park downtown easily. And then there's another thing that the monthly um, parkers, that the downtown workers, mm -hmm. their monthly parking passes are actually extended until 9 p.m. as well. So when they used to have to leave work and scurry out of the garages by 6 or they'd have to pay, but now they can stay till 9 to enjoy shop downtown. and enjoy downtown yeah. after work, eat, yeah. Or work longer hours. I, I know, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, Bart, you got 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds to explain how parking works. How parking works. Basically, the way I look at it is it's service. So we provide uh, a service for people down who come downtown. Um, you can, um, and basically, what I said before, it's on street is the more convenient parking. And then if you're there longer, you can park in a garage. But but we have plenty of parking, and, and people, to make that clear, um, uh, we, we're right, working right now to make par parking easier and more convenient for people. I think that this is just the first step in, in a number of steps we're going to be taking to make parking a. a uh, to overcome that perception that parking is really a bad so, thing and a problem. So come on downtown. It's easier than ever, yep. and especially on a Saturday or Sunday. Thank you. We want to hear from you what you'd like to see on TV48, but more importantly, what's going on in your neighborhood. Give us a holler at 664-6510. And as usual, it's a wonderful time to be in Norfolk just because of you, you, and you. Thanks a lot, guys.